This is Dr. Bartolo Meshko, the medical futurist. I wanted to share with you another advanced technology that used to be one of the most analog devices in the whole spectrum that physicians are using while practicing the art of medicine, the stethoscope. 200 years ago, the French physician Lennec came up with the first gadget idea, creating a hollow wooden tube that would augment the sound, the cardiac and lung sound that they could listen to while uh, diagnosing patients. And nobody wanted to use it because physicians claimed at that point they didn't want to use a gadget while practicing medicine. Yet, if a stethoscope is around your neck today, you must be a medical professional. That, that's how it has become the symbol of being a physician. So digitizing such a symbolic medical technology is very important in the digital health revolution because it makes sure that the digitalization, the process of making things digital, can arrive to even those physicians who have been using and preferring an analog technology. That's why the company Eco has been extraordinary from my point of view. I've been following them closely for five or six years and they have been coming up with new iterations and designs for the actually simple idea of creating the digital stethoscope. They have been cooking up two things recently and I have a chance now to give you both. One is called the Eco Duo, which is a digital stethoscope built with a built-in ECG function. Great. And the other one is a collaboration between Litmon, one of the major brands behind the analog stethoscope, 3M and Eco. And I will show you now, I will unpack both of these exciting technologies. Let's see the first one, the Eco Duo. We have two boxes actually. In the first box, we only have the earpiece which is strange because something is missing here. It's the analog stethoscope without the end. And the other box contains the actual device, the Echo Duo, that doesn't look like something from the analog stethoscope. It's something really different. Plus, there's a jack cable here, which I think I have to insert this way. And now we have a working digital stethoscope. It looks quite different from the analog one, right? But it works in a very simple way. There's only one button here. And I can tell you this quite confident that I know how it works because my primary care physician has the same technology. And when I went for an annual checkup about two or three weeks ago, she actually used this digital stethoscope on me. So I felt like I am behind compared to my primary care physician. It's quite simple to turn it on. I just Hold it down for like two seconds. Then the light indicates that it's now on and can be connected to the app. And it, as you can see here, this part is the one part that detects and records cardiac and lung sounds. And these metal parts do the ECG part of the story. So let's see how it works in action. That's not how you normally would do a cardiac auscultation, but that's how we do it now. All right, in the meantime, let's check out the Litmon Core Stethoscope 2. The unboxing is, again, very simple. There are not many things in there, a few descriptions. Uh, it's a USB cable, some earpieces, and quite a beautiful stethoscope. Now, this one looks like the analog stethoscopes we are used to. It's, by the way, really beautiful. It's like a piece of art, but there is one switch here. This way, it's an analog stethoscope. That way, as the light indicates it, it becomes a digital stethoscope. So maybe we have a physician who has been using a stethoscope for 30 years. You, you, want, you find it really hard to persuade the physician to switch to such a digital stethoscope. But maybe we would like to keep on using the analog one they are used to, but if they want to record the analysis, the cardiac and lung sounds, because the app can now detect abnormalities, they can switch to digital and record the same stuff that they are listening to. Because the major point about this stethoscope is this. The Eco app is required for wireless listening, advanced sound and filtering control, automated disease detection using artificial narrow intelligence, saving and sharing rec recordings, and telehealth live streaming. Can you imagine the consequences here? Just about the last point. I can listen to the cardiac lung sounds of a patient 
and I could have a remote consultation with a peer physician while he or she can listen to the same things through the app. I can also save the recordings and maybe I can do the recordings myself and send it to my primary care physician if I live in a underdeveloped region where we don't have enough primary care physicians, I could easily do that. But my favorite part, and I think that's the biggest improvement about the device, is the automated disease detection part. This is how artificial intelligence jumps into the very practice of medicine. You use an analog-looking stethoscope to listen to the cardiac and lung sounds of your patient, and the algorithm on the app will let you know what it thinks the diagnosis could be. You see, AI isn't replacing physicians, it can contribute to the process of practicing the art of medicine. I think is an, ECO is an excellent example in all that, and I look forward to testing and reviewing these stethoscopes myself and then using them or seeing my primary care physician using the same technology on me as a patient. If you like this video, please subscribe below so you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.